thinking. Don't just listen to my boring voice, okay? This is, this is the best thing here. So, you have... You have ten problems about going to the moon. And honestly, they're all good problems. They're all problems NASA would have thought about. Even playing games. They would have sat down and thought, well, what about the astronaut's brain? How can we keep it busy? Although I'm sure, as I said, I'm sure it was very busy. So, we have ten problems. Uh, ten problems. Now, I want you to think about solutions of going to the moon. What is your problem? What is problem number one? Tell me what is problem number one? Your problem. Problem in your book. No, in your book, what is your problem? Extremely dangerous. What is the solution to that? Think of a solution, and there are many. It's a very general idea, but what is the solution? It's extremely dangerous. Number two, what is problem number two you have? Huh? Breathing, 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 breathing. Now, what is the solution to that big problem? Problem number three. What is your problem number three? Going to them. What is the solution about that? So please. You've got ten problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Title: Solutions going to the moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do solo, pairs, small groups. But please think of some solutions to your problems. Okay.
we will continue this next week. Well, let's just start. Let's just start today. I can use the board. So, if you want to type your solution, you can use the keyboard or you can write it on the board. You can use the computer. Good English. Good verb. Prepare. Prepare. What is preparing? It means for for job. For job. For job. So some advantages then. Advantage number one, it gives these students time and space to be creative. Number two, they can take the initiative, they can walk around the classroom, find the friends, find the people who they want to speak to. And number three, it gives the students a chance to take a risk. Some disadvantages. Disadvantage number one, you do get some interesting and very creative ideas. Number two, perhaps it can be a little bit too confusing for the students. And number three, is it really relevant to their English, to them, to their lives? Overall though, I'm still pretty happy with this activity. Took the problems slowly, then used the problems to come up with some more critical thinking uh, about the solutions and I thought it worked well. So anyway, give it a go, see what you feel, see what you uh, think and uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like this activity and there are some more activities to find and if you like those activities please hit the subscribe button below. Have fun, enjoy and happy teaching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.